I can't stand you flickers. See what I did there? Hey, Power Director Peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove light flicker using Power Director 17. If you've got light flicker in your videos that you need to remove, I want you to put hashtag FlickerHater in the comment section below. All right, Power Director Peeps, I can't be waiting long enough. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 17. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every single time I upload content to YouTube. Let's say bye bye to Flickr Eye. Video flicker can be caused by cheap LED lights, using higher shutter speeds, or recording at the wrong hertz for the AC current of the country that you're in. So, obviously, the first way to fix these things is to use quality LED lights, uh, use the 180 degree rule when setting a shutter speed, and recording at the correct hertz for the country that you live in. But, if you made one of those mistakes and you need to fix your video and your vittery and your video, not your vittery, your video is all flickery, I'm gonna show you how to fix it in Power Director 17. As you can see, I have a clip in the timeline ready to roll. If we play this clip back, you'll see that the lights, the blue lights on the side, they're getting their flicker on. Uh, that Lemetri clock in the background is getting this crazy, crazy, crazy flicker on. It's all flickery. And we want to fix that, right? So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get that done. And what we're going to do is we need to fill in the frames where there are flickers with frames where there are not flickers. All right, I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. So the first step is you need to copy your video clips. So what you want to do is you want to right click on this clip. Then you want to go up to copy. And you want to left click on that. Then you want to go down to track two, left click that. Then you want to right click in track two and you want to go to paste. And then you want to go to paste and overwrite. Then you want to go to track three, left click on that. Now if track three is not enabled, you could just click on the add additional video and audio tracks to the timeline button. And using that, you can add another timeline track. So I'm going to left click that. Then what you want to do is you want to right click, you want to go to paste, and then you want to go to paste and overwrite. So now we have multiple clips on the timeline, and now you can fill in those gaps where there's flickers with areas where there's not flickers. So step two is actually moving your clips to fill in those gaps. So what you want to do now is you want to stretch out your timeline so that you can see each frame on your timeline. Then you want to go to track two and left click on that. When you see this little hand appear, you want to hold down your left mouse button and move this over one frame and then let go. Then you want to go to track three. You want to do the same thing, left click on that clip. When you see the little hand, hold down your left mouse button and move this over two frames. So now each one of these clips is filling in the gaps of the other clips. So now that we're done with that, we need to move on to step three. And in step three, you need to change the opacity of your clips. So you want to go to the clip on track two, and then you want to give it a double left mouse click, and that will open up the PIP designer. In the PIP designer on the left-hand side, under the properties tab, you should see a listing for opacity. You want to go over here and you can double click on it and you can type in 67 and hit enter. That will make the opacity 67%. So you want to click on OK. And then you want to go to track three. You want to give that a left double mouse click as well. Should open up the PIP designer. Make sure you're on the property tab again. 
go down to opacity, double click that, and then type 33 and hit enter and click on OK. So now what you've done is you've added layers to fill in those gaps and you can tell the difference blends in throughout the three videos. So basically you're blending these three into one by changing the opacity and moving over one frame past the previous track that you're on. So now what we'll do is we'll play this back and we'll take a look at how it looks now that we've made these changes. The flicker has been tremendously reduced. And if I were to uncheck track two and track three, and play this again, pay attention to that clock or the light on the left and you'll see a lot of flicker, a whole lot. And then if I enable these again and play this again, we'll see a lot less flicker. Beautiful. I love it. I love it a lot. Now, if you still see some flicker, you can add more copies of the original clip and follow the remainder of the steps by moving it over, changing the opacity until you end up with the result that you like. And that's it, people. How to fix annoying video flicker in three easy steps using PowerDirector. Don't forget to check out more of my content to learn how to use PowerDirector. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description that you can use to purchase it. Those are affiliate links. So if you use them, I'll get a small commission, which will help me continue to create content that teaches you how to use PowerDirector. You'll pay the same price as if you went to the site on your own and purchased the program. So if you want to help me help you use the affiliate link. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. If you have any tutorial requests that you'd like me to make, please head over to the video description and complete my tutorial request form. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, if you want more information, education, training, tips, and tricks on how to use Power Director, you got to watch more of my content. And then you got to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.